I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with West Brom reporter Matt Wilson. Matt, 85th minute, things were looking rosy, West Brom in eighth place, and then Lorente happened. Yeah, Lorente, who scored 15 goals this season, I guess that's the difference, isn't it? When you've got Solomon Rondon through on goal at 1-0, yeah. and I don't know why he waited for so long for Leon Britton to get back and uh, nip the ball off him. What I do know probably is lack of confidence, that mm. he's, he's scared to pull the trigger because he, he's only scored one goal since mid-December. When Lorente swoops home, you know, his only chance of the game really, and he set up the Swansea's first goal with a header across goal. And it's painfully obvious that this Albion team needs a striker. Um, they, they've struggled for form recently. Yeah. Um, they were five minutes away from finishing eighth in the table, which would have been a great uh, achievement. Um, it's tampered somewhat by the fact that the, the table is so top heavy this season mm -hmm. that, um, you know, Albion, they finished in the top half, they finished 10th in the end, uh, but they're only five points um, clear of 17th. Wow. Which, because uh, mm -hmm. considering where they were in February, is, is, is some significant uh, tail off in form. So um, it's, it's a bit of a difficult one to to uh, to uh, analyse. It's mixed emotions at the end of the season yeah. because you had four fantastic months between um, November and February where the team swept aside all of those uh, around them and below them, uh, everybody apart from the, the, the top clubs, and mm -hmm. you know that that is perhaps the limit that you can expect. You know, uh, try and get nick a couple of points from the top clubs mm -hmm. when you can, but beat those teams around you and below you, and, and, and you'll have a good season. But to tail off as, as they have done since 40 points is, is really disappointing for the second season now in a row that they, they finished on a, on a nine-game winless streak. And I think Swansea, for all their problems and issues this season, only finished four points below Albion, which, which is very telling. Yeah, absolutely. It just tells you what the league, where the league is. Um, there's a lot of clubs who are pretty similar, in, 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 it has to say, mm -hmm. it has to be said. Um, and it just goes to show that, you know, a, a, few, a couple of weeks ago, um, or I think it was last week, Tony was named or shortlisted as one of the Premier League managers of the year, mm -hmm. um, probably because Albion had been in eighth and been safe for so long. Um, but now that look, might look a bit, a bit silly, um, because actually everybody's pretty much finished there or thereabouts, and pretty much the same. You know, we, we, over the course of the season, the season sure. we're talking about like very thin lines. You know, mm -hmm. the, 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 you know, the width of a post probably for some of these teams from the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's clear now that this league. Um, because of how much the, the top six and seven have spent uh, in reaction to Leicester winning the title, um, it just got, it shows that this season, certainly at least, that um, a lot of teams were very, very similar. Tony Pulis in the, in the post-match press conference hailed it as an unbelievable effort this season, which I think is easy to forget because, you know, 10th place at the start of the season, I think a lot of Albion fans would, would, have, would have quite happily taken 10th. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, you, you think back to those days in September when uh, they lost to Northampton Town in the League mm -hmm. Cup and, you know, um, they lost to Bournemouth away and... And the, and the fans were telling uh, Tony what, what they thought of his football. Um, I think nobody at that stage, um, after deadline day, was such a damp squib. You know, getting, for, you know, you can dress up as much as you want, but how Robson Kind was a last resort. You know, it, it, they, they didn't get the players they wanted to mm. get in, um, and they didn't get the, the number of players they wanted to get in. Um, it, it does have to go down as, as a minor success, but that's what it is. It's a minor success. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not a. It's not a fantastic success. It's not yeah. a great success. It's not the success that we certainly thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, January, February time. Mm -hmm. um, I do think the squad has improved. I think Livermore, although he's although he's tailed off recently, I think you know we saw in the first sort of half dozen games that he is a better replacement for Gardner. Mm -hmm. um, the, you know. There's, there are other additions. Alan Neum's been a surprise package this mm -hmm. season. Matt Phillips has been fantastic. And actually, if Phillips hadn't got injured uh, for the last uh, few, like, couple of months of the season, mm -hmm. they may have finished a lot higher. Um, so there, there is there has been small steps, small progress, but there, there is no getting away from the fact that uh, this squad is in desperate need of some additions in the summer. Very thin on the ground in a couple of key areas, like up front and also now in defence. They've only got four senior defenders um, officially at the, at the club mm -hmm. because obviously Mark Wilson's on loan. So yeah, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, work needs to be done. Tony Pulis jets off to China tomorrow. You feel like those are going to be some very interesting meetings? Absolutely. I think he's going to you know, point to, um, to what he's done this season, um, highlighted how well he did with it in that four months when the team was all working together as one and there weren't any injuries. Um, and he, he found the right balance, and I think he'll say, "Look, if you, if you give me the players, that's what I that's what I'm capable mm -hmm. of." Um, and he he's probably right, but you know, 
I've been a bit disappointed in the last few games that he he's, he's sort of reverted to type when his back's against the wall and, and, and he needs a point. He's tried to grind a point out rather than perhaps. I mean, he started Morrison today, which I'm sure I was pleased to see. But rather than you know play Morrison and Brunt and and, and, and go for games and attack, mm -hmm. um, and also give the youngsters a go, you know, freshen it up. Give mm -hmm. give the I know we gave Samfield a couple of starts, but you know today he didn't give any of the, um, the youngsters um, any time. I mean, Nico came on for seconds, which was pointless. Really, did he insinuate though in the, in, the, in the press comments that, that maybe he'd been told that they need to finish as high as possible with money situation? And well, obviously, prize money this year is 1.9 million per mm -hmm. place, um, and he he was he was saying that's the reason why he didn't play the kids uh, more was because there was so much up for grabs for each for each place. But to be honest, that rings a bit hollow when the team that he was putting out there aren't winning games. Mm. You know, so why not freshen it up mm -hmm. in, in a bid to win more games? Yeah. And that's that you know, it's obvious that perhaps he doesn't think as much of these kids as maybe he says he does, because mm. otherwise they would be in the pitch trying to trying to change things, freshen mm. it up. Um, and you know, they lost those two places in anywhere, they finished tenth anyway, mm. which was the yeah. lowest they could have finished today uh, at the start of the day. So he, he may have worked, he may as well have just gone for it and, mm -hmm. and, and put on you know field and, and Lico and, and sure. see what they could have done because it, you know I know I know they got I know they were close mm -hmm. uh, to winning that game uh, and they didn't actually play poorly played quite well with it with us with, with a three at the back formation which we haven't seen very well you know it's a strange formation a three five one one which mm -hmm. really loaded the midfield and it worked for about an hour yeah uh, but Swansea were poor for the first sort of 60 minutes mm -hmm. and, then, and then they just got, they they got into gear and. Um, Lorente and Sigurdsson were the difference, and I guess that's that that is the difference between you know winning games and losing games. That, that sort of quality. Well, Lorente and Sigurdsson would be nice in the summer. Oh, they'd be lovely, but yeah. I don't think if they, I think if they're leaving Swansea, they won't be coming <laughs> to West Brom. Swansea City two, West Brom one. For the post-match reaction on this one, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.